Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Christopher from AWS, and today I'm joined by Luis from iRobot. Welcome. Hi. Excellent. So what does iRobot do? iRobot makes uh, IoT-connected robots. Excellent. And what are you doing with this pattern in con conjunction with iRobot? Yeah, so uh, this is our data lake architecture that's used to uh, basically for research scientists to explore and um, find interesting patterns in our data. Excellent. And so how does it all begin? <clears throat> yeah, so uh, from our data pipeline, we have uh, JSON records right into uh, S3. Um, and that data then gets cataloged by the glue crawler, and that information gets stored in the uh, data catalog. And what kind of information is stored in the data? <clears throat> so the, in the catalog, you can see things like column type, column name, uh, table name. Um, basically allows you to uh, inspect the schema of the information coming in. Excellent. And so once that data is into the schema itself, what happens then? So, um, so uh, the JSON data, it, you can use, you can query it already uh, using Athena. And um, that uh, is, there's about uh, three terabytes of data coming in okay. a day. Um, so typically, you'd only really want to query a couple hours or even one day of, of data um, using that service. Um, so in order to um, support uh, full history querying, we end up converting the data from uh, JSON records into Parquet format. And how did you do that? So the glue crawler will take in uh, the data that is arri recently arrived. Yep. Uh, the glue job will take in the data that has recently arrived and will um, write that uh, data as Parquet into the S3 bucket. And so Parquet is over here now. So mm -hmm. what's the value of Parquet over JSON? So Parquet is a columnar format, uh, data, type, data format. So uh, that allows the query engine to selectively scan information uh, that's in the, to, to meet the needs of your query. Um, and it effectively ends up saving you money and time. OK, so it's passing a smaller subset of data in that Correct. respect. Yep. OK. And does this get crawled as well and put into the data catalog? Yeah, the glue crawler will also um, catalog the parquet files, and that will also that information will also be stored in the data catalog. Excellent. So as a company, what benefits are you gaining from actually having this ecosystem? Yeah, so this uh, uh, ecosystem allows us to uh, very quickly find specific uh, production bugs either in a particular robot or uh, all robots. Um, it also allows us to uh, build new features off of the data that we are collecting okay. and uh, basically help in, uh, improve customer the customer experience. So you have the immediate search here on the JSON and you have the slightly more extended timeline Correct. when it comes to the parquet itself. Yeah. Excellent. And this complete pattern, is it, does it have any physical characteristics or is it completely serverless? Um, the whole architecture is completely serverless. Excellent. So that's a really useful one. Yeah. Well, listen, this is a great uh, ecosystem. So thank you very much for bringing this into the day. Thanks. Excellent. And thank you for joining us. This is my architecture.